la vida de una mujer al servicio de la ciencia. Marie Curie. Usted, usted no sueña. Sueño con la física. La investigación era lo más importante para ella. Su inteligencia, tenacidad y dedicación la convierten en la primera mujer galardonada con el premio Nobel. ¿Cree que la vocación de la mujer está en ayudar a su esposo incluso en el laboratorio? Yo no ayudo a mi marido, él me ayuda a mí. Trabajamos en condiciones de igualdad. ¿Y cuándo se ocupa usted de su hija? Cuando me necesita. ¿Aconseja a las jóvenes que sigan estudios científicos? Si están inclinadas, por supuesto. Encontrarán grandes alegrías. ¿Sacrificando su vida familiar? No, señor. Sacrificando a los imbéciles. Marie Curie, una mujer honorable. La tarde del domingo, en la 2. Yo soy radiactiva, señora. ¿Radiactiva? ¡Oh, pero qué original! behind every cloud may be an enemy. Midway Island. Not much land, right enough. But it's our outpost. Your front yard. natives of Midway. Tojo has sworn to liberate them. The birds seem nervous. There's something in the air. Something behind that sunset. patrol has sighted an enemy fleet. During the night, flying fortresses had landed at Midway. An 
historic council of war is held. That fellow's walk looks familiar. My neighbor's four used to amble along just like that. Is that one of them flying fortresses? Yes, ma'am, it is. Why, that young Will Tinney. He's from my hometown, Springfield, Ohio. He's not going to fly that great big bomber. Yes, ma'am, that's his job. He's a skipper. Will's dad is an engineer. 38 years on the old Ironton Railroad. And his mother. Huh? Well, she's just like the rest of us mothers in Springfield or any other American town. And his sister, Patricia. Well, she's about as pretty as they come. I'll say so. Well, Junior Tinney. Behind the clouds, the Japs attack.
warship stop the jet fleet. of our carriers, army bombers, marines, thundered destruction over a 300 mile battle area. your neighbor's son, home from the day's work. You want to meet them. There's Jimmy Thatch, seven meatballs on his plane. How many more today, Skipper? Midway. Tojo swore he'd liberate the natives. They seem just as free as they ever were. Midway is over. Our front yard is safe, but a big job is still to be done. Day after day, our patrol planes search for survivors. Every tiny coral reef, every distant mile of sea. Search for men who fought to the last round of ammunition and flew to the last drop of gas and then crashed into the sea. Eight days, nine days, ten days without food or water. His first cigarette. Oh, and that first drag sure tastes good. Eleven days. Well done, Matthew Hughes. Logan Ramsey. Thirteen for Frank.
way to the hospital. Please do, quickly. Get them to clean cots and cool sheets. Get them doctors and medicine. The nurses soft hands. Get them to the hospital. Hurry, please. There was a hospital. Clean, orderly, a hundred beds. And on its roof, the Red Cross plainly marked. The symbol of mercy the enemy was bound to respect. The next morning, divine services were held beside a bomb crater that had once been a chapel. At eventide, we buried our heroic dead, the last salute from their comrades and their officers. Simard of the Navy. Colonel Shannon. Major Roosevelt.